Bobby, sir, welcome to India today. It's good to see you again, and it is good to have you here. Thank you so much for having me again. <laughs> That's great. But sir, firstly, I want to congratulate you on the success of Love Hostel, and I want to ask you, uh, what's the response been for your character personally? It's uh, I thank you so much for appreciation, and uh, I still think I'm dreaming the kind of appreciation I've got for my work. and the movie and you know it's just something i never i mean everybody dreams about getting that kind of a reaction and uh, so i still think i'm dreaming you know <laughs> i'm just very very happy and uh, and seriously i'm very happy and uh, my whole family is very happy because they all know what i'm trying to do in my career i'm trying to do different stuff so to do something so different and to get this kind of a reaction or this kind of appreciation it is a wonderful time in my career right now that i am getting this response hey yeah, that's good to you sir but so when you uh, trans or when you did a transition from films to ott was it an easy task or were there any kind of challenges that you had to face i never felt there was any challenge in that sense to you know it's a different format it's a different platform where you watch and entertain yourself but i never thought of it that way because when you're on the set it doesn't feel as if you're shooting for ott or you're shooting for theaters it feels like you're doing the same thing what you've been doing for all your life you know so nothing like that but what was challenging was uh, that the characters i got to play they were challenging and that's what i wanted to do in my in my career it was a very conscious effort to challenge myself as an actor to do characters which are out of my comfort zone and uh, ott platform has given me that opportunity you know and uh, it's it's just the best thing that's happened to me you know because there's so much creativity uh, in ott platform there's so much of uh, different kinds of stories being written you know and uh, so you get an opportunity of playing characters which you would never get offered earlier even then for me because mm-hmm. my image of bobby dual was i mean that image of mine which i had to come out of and to get these kind of roles i think slowly slowly i worked towards changing my image where people now started believing that after seeing love hostel mm-hmm. that bobby is open to doing different kind of roles and uh, bobby wants to do different kinds of roles and he and they are appreciating me as an actor they they have started believing in me i feel that yes bobby can play different characters you know so that's something i was trying to do and it's working it's mo- i'm moving on the right track so hopefully fingers crossed i hope i keep getting good characters to play absolutely but so was there ever a phase in your career where you got a stereotypical roles uh, in as offers for films yes that happened to me mm-hmm. you know it happens to everybody once you get it you become when you when you established you get an image and people don't want to give you other anything away from that image you have so it was difficult to break out of that i mean i tried in my career to do different stuff but those were not successful attempts so when they are successful then then the people don't offer you those roles you know because it was all about box office and things like that so but now it's different ott platform there's no there's no stress about box office but there is stress about viewership yeah. you know so the stress is always going to be there <laughs> yeah the stress is never ending yeah and i mean it's the hard work that uh, at the end of the day that gets you the uh, right amount of satisfaction when people love your projects and love your characters yes i think uh, when you when you work hard mm-hmm. and when you're genuine about your work and when you are so focused i think things automatically start falling in place it isn't easy i know there are a lot of actors who are so passionate and genuine i mean so honest to their profession but they still don't get work and i mean they don't get the kind of work they're looking for so i've also been through that phase but i luckily got these three projects class of 83 ashram love hostel and i think god has been really kind i mean i've been really lucky that i got these characters to play but then those characters would have only worked because i worked hard to portray them the right way and i think uh, somewhere as an actor i've matured a lot I, i i have more faith in myself and more belief in myself and uh i just want filmmakers to see that faith 
have that faith in me and to give me opportunities to do, you know, different kinds of characters. Absolutely. Well, sir, Ashram is one of your successful projects and one of your celebrated projects. Do you consider this project as a turning point in your career or as an introduction to Gopiti Ol 2.0? <laughs> I think it all started with Class of 83. <laughs> because I remember when Class of 83 released and the kind of uh, response I got, the kind of phone calls I got after Class of 83, it was just, uh, it was like, uh, I couldn't believe at that point because I never realized that people would notice me as an actor. And then after a week, Ashton released and suddenly everything changed. You know, there was a character which no one expected me to ever portray. And yes, Ashram changed a lot of things for me as, as uh, people started seeing me and actually the kind of the role I played was so negative, so negative that I got the most positive and reaction, the most love for playing that character. Yeah. <laughs> and I think even with love hostel, mm. even though I'm negative, people have enjoyed my character, you know, and uh, it makes me really happy, you know, that, you know, because when I used to watch movies, I always, there was always some characters which you liked a lot and they would stay with you in your mind. And I wish, mm -hmm. and I used to always wish that I get characters like that to play with. Even though I'm not the main lead, people will still remember my character more. And I think Love Hostel did that for me. And uh, I'm really lucky that it happened that way. Yeah. But also Ashram 3 is one of your anticipated projects, upcoming anticipated project. What's the latest update on that? And what can people expect from your character in the series? Well, uh, I hope uh, they enjoy my character in this season. You know, because uh, I can't really talk much about it right now because you're under a contract that you can't really talk about a project till the producers want you to. But it is definitely going to be very different and entertaining. It is, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a very interesting subject. So there are a lot of plots which can be written in it. And I guess you'll see a different, different plots and different things happening, you know. So I can't speak much about it. But yeah. I know every time I do an interview, everybody asks me about Ashram, you know, and even I'm waiting as much as they're waiting because even when Ashram released both the times, I saw it when the audiences were watching it. Oh. I had not seen it before that. So with movies, you can still watch it before the release. But with right. Ashram, I didn't see even one episode. I only sat at midnight to watch Let's see now. I think uh, all I can say is that uh, uh, it, sh it because of the third wave, things got delayed. So I think it should come out by June, July, I think. You know. Yeah, looking forward to that. But also as an actor, sir, how do you personally deal with the successes of your projects and at the same time the failures of your projects? Well, failures disappoint you, but then you learn from, your le from them success uh, gives you the motivation to work harder even failure makes you want to work harder i think i think you learn more from failure than you learn from success and i never let success get to my head because i've seen ups and downs in my life and it just makes me more nervous that okay i was successful now i have to work even harder mm -hmm. you know so it just kind of makes you be more focused about your career since I was reading one of your recent interviews where you mentioned that because you come from a simple background, uh, you have been taken advantage of in the past. Can you recall any particular incident as such? You know, when I started my career, shuru kiya tha, so I was, you know, we, we live in a family which is, if you respect them, and when I started working, I think the respect angle would always come into play. I used to always, when I used to be in a discussion, then I used to, you know, get a little, okay, now he's senior, he knows he's worked more than I have. I've just started my career. So I would never be able to discuss openly with them a lot of things. You know. And I think that's where I feel that I went wrong sometimes, you know. So that's why it's more important. Now I've realized that you have to, Respect is definitely important. You have to respect your elders, but when it comes to work, 
you become like uh, colleagues, you know, you are working together. So you have to be open and uh, honest about what you feel. And, you know, that, that really helps you as an actor. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Also, sir, you have Animal coming up uh, with Ranbir Kapoor. How excited are you to work on that project and with Ranbir? I'm very excited. I think Ranbir is an amazing actor. Mm. I've always been a fan of his. And, uh, and I'm also very excited that I'm working with Sanjeev Reddy Venga, the director. Yeah. Because I think uh, he's uh, a very different kind of filmmaker. He thinks differently. He writes his characters very differently. And uh, so I'm really excited. I'll also be working with Parinita for the first time and with Anil Kapoor for the second time. And uh, I enjoy being on sets with Anil. He's so much of, he's so much energy as, you know, he's, he looks younger every time I meet him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I'm really excited. That's great, sir. Also, Apneto is one of the projects that people are looking forward to watching. What's the latest development on the scene? Well, right now, the script has been still worked on. So once the script is properly written, it should start by end of the year or next year, beginning. You know, I'm not very sure, but we have to get a proper script because it's important that all of us coming together, you know, Apne was such a lovely film. What a lovely story. People loved it. It was a very emotional film. And uh, so we just hope that Apne 2 is also written properly and, you know, people enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. And so also your son Aryaman is all grown up. Uh, does he have plans to join acting? And people also often compliment him for his good looks. What are, What is your take on the entire thing? Well, it makes me feel very proud that people mm. are appreciating my son so much. And, uh, you know, he has this kind of uh, following where people are looking forward to him being an actor. But I think I want him to study and finish his education. And after he finishes his education, then he can decide what he wants to do. You know, so definitely as a father, I would want him to be on the silver screen. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to push my kids to do something what they don't want to do. And uh, but education is important. So even if they become actors, at least they have something to fall back on. Because no matter how good looking you are. Mm -hmm. If people don't want to see you, they won't, they won't see you, you know. So I think uh, it's very important that every child finishes his education before getting into this film industry. Because it is a very uncertain industry for actors. But sir, uh, having been a part of this industry for so long, what's the biggest lesson you have learned? <sighs> what's the biggest lesson you have learned? I have learned so many lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, you know... Uh, you can't take things for granted. Mm -hmm. You can't uh, lose your focus. You can't, if you lose your focus, you lose the fire inside you. And I think it's very important to keep your focus because you have to keep that fire burning in you. Because, uh, and that's what I've learned. And that's what I believe now. I'm, I'm more focused and I have so much of energy and desire and want mm -hmm. to do more and more interesting characters i think that's what i've learned in all these years but uh thank you sir for taking your time out of your busy schedule and doing this interview it was a pleasure to speaking with you again it was fun talking to you again yeah, wish thanks you the a lot. best thanks Take a lot care.